five minute tech talk. I'm Sadie Mayhoff, a marketing coordinator here at Nexus. We all know that social media is important to the growth of your business, but getting it right isn't always easy. Today, I'm gonna to share with you five tips that you can use to grow your business using social media. No matter what kind of business you're in, it's important to know what kind of content to share. But before you go looking for existing content or creating new content, you first need to know who's gonna be reading it. And that leads me to tip number one, know your audience. Your audience won't be the same on every single social media platform. If you're generating content that is interesting to your Facebook followers, you may be wasting time by sharing it on Twitter. That's wasted time for you, for all your hard work, and it's wasted time for your Twitter followers. And they may just reward you with an unfollow. So you wanna think about your brand and who you're catering to. You can start by looking at the demographics on each channel to really get a feel for your audience there. From there, you can compare those similarities and identify any differences in between them. And remember, social media is sort of like a cocktail party. If you get to know who's invited to the party, then you can find out what they're interested in. And once you get to know them, hopefully they'll wanna to get to know you too. Now it's time to expand your reach beyond organic followers with tip number two, and that's run paid ads. Paid ads should be your new best friend. You can start out by tracking your top performing social media posts to see which ones have been giving your company a bit of a boost. These will help you increase your brand awareness, generate more engagement, and ultimately more traffic to your site. You never know when someone's gonna see just the right ad at just the right time. A well-placed ad can trigger someone's FOMO or fear of missing out, or solve a particular pain point that they're experiencing in that moment. But this doesn't mean that you should be paying for every boosted ad on every platform that you're on. Remember, you wanna review your analytics and see where you're thriving the most. You may have more of an audience on Instagram as compared to Facebook, for example. So you should try paying for more Instagram stories, reels, ads, and then ultimately bring down the quantity of the paid ad campaigns that you're running on Facebook. Experiment, review, learn, and then run it all back. It's the only way to keep growing and it's tip number three, measure effectiveness. Studying your social media analytics can be a lengthy process. It takes time to fully understand how your content is resonating and who it's resonating with. It can be hard to not want to get the immediate results and make changes immediately. And that's why this step can be time consuming and frustrating, especially when you want those answers right away. But that's the power of social media analytics. And that brings me to tip number four, invest in the right channels. So here's something you may already know, not all social media channels are the same. This means that not only do you post different content on each channel, but you may not even need to be on every channel. So for example, let's say you're an arts and crafts company who focuses on knitting and you've looked at your audience and noticed that you get a lot of traffic from Pinterest and Instagram, but your Twitter posts don't really get the same traction. So this can lead you to refocus your energy and invest more time on those two more visual channels. In the end, you should see an increase in traffic and conversions. So focusing on the right channel, not only will save you time and energy, but it could also increase your ROI in the end. So now that you know how to reach the majority of your audience, we come to tip number five which is create an editorial calendar. Staying organized and planning ahead is a must. You wanna set aside time to create a shareable, high quality branded content like videos, articles, case studies, relevant hashtags, and more. After creating that content, you wanna strategically add it to a social media scheduling platform such as Hootsuite 
And this can help you not rely on publishing posts directly to a social media channel. You always want to be prepared for those ad hoc posts, but you don't want to plan on creating those social posts the day of or the day before their scheduled deployment. This could lead to mistakes, um, lack of engagement, and poor results. Social media plays a huge role in every company's marketing strategy. So let us know below if you're going to try out these five tips or if you have tips to share of your own. If you want to keep learning and working on your social media, you'll definitely see improvements for your business. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time on Nexus 5-Minute Tech Talks.